So, I am under a ban of six months of no monogamy. As in, I'm not available for any sort of a long-term relationship or to be anybody's girlfriend until December 23rd of 2011. I jumped right from my relationship with my with the with my abusive ex-girlfriend to the relationship with my ex-fiance um, with only probably a month and a half in between. I I lost myself. I didn't know I got away from who I really was. I didn't really even have time to even really get to know who Raven Blaze, wherever my name happens to be, aka Jen, really is without somebody else in my relation in my life. And I think part of it stemmed from I was so desperate to have a long term relationship because I didn't get those early pra that early practice in high school of dating rituals. Yeah, I dated an okay guy for a couple of weeks. But there was no magic, no spark, nothing special. Um and when I got to college, I started dating girls and yeah, there was magic, there was spark, but it's just like, eh. None of it, my first couple of girls I dated just never really worked out. And then when I got to the abusive one, I was so desperate for a long-term relationship that that's probably why I stuck with her for as long as I did beyond what she did to me. Um, and then coming out of college, my ex-fiance was the first woman I really dated beyond college. And, well, I have three priorities in life. I want a wife, a life, and a job. But coming out of college, I had those in the wrong order. And, well, as my relationship started to turn sour with my ex-fiance, I realized I've got them in the wrong order. I need to have a job, a life, and the wife will follow. So, while my ex-fiance was a good person, it just wasn't right. Um, like, our paths in life were just not the same, and, well, what can you say? She's a good person, but it just wasn't right. So, I didn't really give myself time in between the abusive one and my ex-fiance to really establish who I am, to really figure out who is Raven Blaze, a.k.a. Jen. Um, and... That's part of the reason I've taken up this vow of six months of no monogamy. To get to know myself better. To really get to know who I am. And to get my prior my life priorities in better shape. I've got three life priorities, as I mentioned. A job, a life, and a wife. A job, a career, which I got, and I'm working toward getting... I'm working in and I'm working hard to further prove myself to my superiors and to show my and to um, lead those who are below me as far as job stuff goes and my rank in the whole structure of my company um, and to provide my and to provide my clients my guests yeah. with good product good services um, and yeah to do my job right because you know it's my partially because of my German blood and because of my thick head. I want to do well for my company. I want to show them, hey, you know what? You put me here. I'm going to rock the house. And, well, once I've gotten the rocking the house part a little bit more stabilized, a little bit more established, I can work on a life. To be part of a community, to help out, make things better for the next generation. To establish a peer group, have friends, hang out, go to wonderful coffee shops like Travona Cafe or whatever the hell. Um, go to the clubs, hang out, have fun. Um, and I'm starting to establish a little bit of that. My cousin, who has lived in the Columbus area for a long time, um, is helping to show me around the hot spots, good places to hang out, lovely places to eat. We just went to the Irish Festival in, Jub in Dublin a couple of days ago. Or by the time this thing's posted, it'll be a couple of days ago. And once I've got the job and the life established, I'm pretty sure the wife will come along. As I get more of a peer group, as I get to meet different people and get to know different people. But within that, well, I'm open to dating now. I'm single, I'm up for dating. So, I am a 25-year-old female. 
college educated, both associates and bachelors. I like coffee shops and cozy places, watching movies, long walks on the beach, okay, maybe not so much. I like to walk around parks, hang out, have fun, go out dancing, go out clubbing. Not much into reading novels, but I love reading articles, YouTubing, activism, making things better for the next generation. Um, I am more of a tomboyish woman. Apparently by coastal standards I am not butch, but by Midwest standards I am. Um, what kind of girl am I looking for? Well, I'm looking for both gender and biologically female individual. Sorry ladies who are not. Um, ideally college educated, but not necessarily. Looking for some for one more on the tomboyish side, or androgynous. Not really looking for a femme. I hate to say it, but my last two relationships have been with femmes, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody in the Columbus area. Um, ideally, no freaks. Well, depends on what kind of freak you are. If you are artistic, creative, passionately progressive, liberal, um, I would totally be up for a coffee date. Um, I'm looking for interesting people, creative people. Um, then I realized that probably putting out, hey, message me if you want to go on a date sometimes, probably not the smartest thing in the world, but why not? I'm up for a meetup. I'm up for hanging out. And, well, if you happen to be in the Columbus area and you're a lady between the ages of 25 and 35, ideally educated, but not necessarily, um, well, leave me a PM. Maybe we'll talk on the phone a little bit. Maybe we'll meet up. But yeah, so yeah, six months of non-monogamy. Not looking for a girlfriend for until December. Can't be with a girlfriend until December because I need that time to heal and to really find me. But I'm open for dating just to go out and have fun with somebody. And well, I think that the six month ban thing is a good move for me. It will help me rediscover myself and, well, figure out who I am now. I mean, I knew who I was in college. Crazy, activist, super queer Raven Blaze. Whereas Raven Blaze of today, aka John, I don't really know her because, well, I haven't really gotten time to meet her and hang out with her. Which I know sounds really strange that I haven't gotten to know myself, but that's because I'm in a different phase of life. I'm in the post-college life. And that's a drastically different phase than the college life. So yeah, ladies out there, um, if you're interested, send me a message. Maybe we can, I don't know, meet up somewhere, or have coffee. And no dudes allowed. Sorry. If you're male, hell no. Even if you're a trans man, it's like, I'm sorry. I'm a chick who digs chicks, not dudes. Um, so yeah. Peace out, YouTubes.